Hi, uh, I am Mallam. I have 9 plus year of experience in IT industry with hands on development experience in Oracle Fusion Middleware. So, uh, I am expert in Oracle Service Bus as well. So, here I am going to uh, give tutorial about the Oracle Service Bus. Uh, the main uh, difference between SOA and OSB, the major difference is uh, so why is stateful uh, OSB is stateless so that's why uh, OSB can handle huge data transactions so when it comes to the 11G uh, we have the Eclipse to develop Oracle service bus uh, applications in the project when it comes to the 12C J developer can enough to uh, develop application in the projects so today I'm going to cover some basic uh, demo program hello program I'm going to write here so uh, this is my J developer 12c uh, here I'm going to create new uh, service bus application with project so just click on here and select new and click on the application uh, service bus type service bus application with service bus project and plus press ok just give your hello service bus application so i am going to get triple usb hello ok that's fine so next hello service bus project then finish Hello service bus project is created. Hello SB project. Hello SB project. Uh, actually, when it comes to the SOA, J developer can handle and create folder structure for SOA. When it comes to the OSB, uh, we are going to create manually this structure. So I am showing here how we are going to create the gallery, select the folder. Okay. Uh, let's see. So it's and business service. This is a best practice. If you want, you can create. But uh, when you are create the folder structure, uh, it looks good. Uh, so I am going to create a uh, hello demo program I am just clicked on the hello SB project so you can see the new panel like this I think if you see uh, our previous videos uh, you can see the SOA SOA is also have like same like this but here is we have the proxy services uh, we have here for the pipelines and split chains and external services so what is a proxy service proxy service is we are going to expose to the external world it's like a virtual services we are going to create the proxy services pipeline and the split chain here we are going to write our business logics uh, transformations routing tools everything we are going to implement under this block though external service we are going to Target the external systems like target systems we are going to call here. So here we are going to create the business services. Okay, see the right panel. We have the many many uh, tools here. Uh, resources we have the pipeline and the split chain. So what is the difference between pipeline and the split chain? Pipeline <coughs> we can write the straight code. Uh, we can have uh, under pipeline like the request and the response. Even split gen is also same, but a split gen uh, we can write parallel code. So it's like a flow. Uh, we can make it as a multiple flows. So I will uh, show you the demo uh, in the further tutorials. But as of now, uh, so today I'm going to explain 
uh, only let me put them. so for that i need a small accessory so i already created um, click on right side here insert transport select http that's right in convention next so while going to create proxy service and pipeline we have many ways like we can consume digital we can consume soap uh, like we can consume any xml otherwise we can declare uh, our exact uh, message type as well so comes to here we have the none none means uh, there is no request at all binary means we have the binary code if any uh, uh, like uh, when it comes to the jcf files we are going to read the binary files so those time we are going to use the binary mfl i am going to explain after this about the mfl uh, then the text uh, so when going to consume the json uh, text files we are going to use the text so here i am going to use the xml structure so that's why i took xml okay i'm going to import that hello xsd next finish so i do put request pattern for the request for response i'm going to select the response pattern Next, here you see uh, you have like endpoint URI. I am not going to define any endpoint URI right now because I am going to explain about the endpoint URI. What is this? Where we are going to use this endpoint URI? And all. So, when third party will consume your service, so this is a major role it's going to play. So, let us finish. So, see here you have the proxy service the proxy service pipeline so we don't have any work here so we have all work in the under pipeline so this is a start node we can say call it as a start node we can write many nodes okay today i'm going to select uh, pipeline pair node so i just drag and drop here so see here we have the request pipeline and the response pipeline so i don't have any business logic in right now so it's a very simple demo program so for that i'm going to use uh, replace process so i just using the replace so open the replace property so i'm selecting body so where you are going to replace this is a current structure so that's why i am using the dot the where what we are going to replace concat hello so i am concat with my input so Welcome to USB world. Okay. Yeah, we are done. Okay, I'm not going to replace entire node, so I'm replacing only the node content. So what is the difference these two? When you want to replace entire node, you need the particular structure to replace, but when you are replacing only the values here so that's why you should replace only node content not entire node okay uh, don't confuse definitely i am going to explain what is the entire node what is the node contains okay, okay we are done with our uh, demo I'm going to deploy this service now. Deploy. 
reply to the service bus server. It will sit down. Next and the finish. So I already deployed this service. Uh, so you have the many ways to deploy. One way you can use uh, deploy one. The another way you can use export. Export means uh, you can export exact file, not entire project. So third time we are going to use export. Then service bus resource. Then OK. Uh, we want send to the server. To select server. Then next. Then see here. So select the resource now. Deheaded this. I want to send only resource. Select the resource. Then select the server. Then next and finish. So only this time that exact resource is going to deploy into the server. Okay, there's a many ways to do that. So I already did that. So I opened the JDeveloper and the this is a test console. Test console is nothing. Just open the SB console. Uh, then select the hello PS under your project list. Just click on the launch test console. So you can see here your test console so I'm just testing now my name Marla. just execute it yeah see here you have the response hello Malla welcome to your SP board in next tutorial I'm going to explain about the adapter uh, so maybe I, uh, I want to show you that uh, how the adapters are going to work uh, and other stuff too. Uh, thanks for watching our video and please subscribe our channel. Keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.